So, it's finally happening. After years of radio silence, delays, and endless speculation, GoPro has officially started teasing the GoPro Max 2. No more blurry leaks. No more forum debates. This is real. This is happening. And guess what? They did it with skydivers. Yeah, literal people falling from the sky with a 360 camera strapped to them. And a tagline that simply reads, dropping. Subtle, yes, clever, absolutely, but most importantly, it means GoPro's long-awaited 360 camera is right around the corner. And folks, the timing couldn't be more interesting dot now. Here's the spicy part, GoPro is entering a seriously competitive battlefield, the 360 camera game is no longer theirs to dominate. DJI is lurking with its Osmo 360 just around the corner. And Insta360 already dropped their flagship X5, with whispers of an X6 coming sooner than we think. So GoPro's got some serious catching up to do, and honestly, they seem to know it. This isn't just about releasing another camera. It's about proving they're still a major player in immersive video. Let's talk about what we can see from the teasers. First off, the design has been tweaked. Gone are the off-center fisheye lenses from the original Max now. The Max to looks more balanced, with a centered lens setup. Still rocking that chunky square body we all recognize. But look closer, and you'll notice beefier cooling fins on. The front, probably there to tackle overheating when shooting high-resolution content. If you're someone who's ever filmed for more than 10 minutes, and felt your camera turn into a mini toaster, yeah, this might be a big deal, spec-wise. GoPro hasn't dropped anything official yet, but expectations are through the roof. Most enthusiasts are hoping for a new processor, likely the GP3, that would mean better stitching, faster processing, and fewer thermal issues. And let's be real, if this thing doesn't shoot in 8K 360, it's going to be a massive disappointment. 8K at 60 FPS, that's the dream. 6K just won't cut it anymore, we've waited long enough. Let's get greedy. Another major upgrade we're hoping for, bigger sensors. The original Max used tiny 1 to 0.3 inch sensors, which are, let's just say, underwhelming in 2025, a bump to a full 1 inch sensor would be a game changer. Especially since DJI and Insta360 are already pushing those boundaries. Better dynamic range, low light performance, and sharper footage. Yes, please. Here's something that might sound small, but trust me. It matters, the bottom of the camera might finally come with a built-in one quarter inch thread, no more. Weird. Adapters or fragile mounts, just screw it directly onto your tripod or selfie stick and go. Why this wasn't on the original Max, nobody knows, but we'll take the win if it's on the Max too. And let's talk about battery life. Higher resolutions mean higher power draw, so unless GoPro comes in with a redesign, smarter. More efficient battery, we're gonna have the same old 25 minutes record than sweat scenario. Plus, there's speculation that GoPro's waterproof power door might make an appearance here, the same one we've seen in their hero line. If that's true, it's a big win for creators who like to shoot underwater, in the rain, or just don't want to open up their camera every time they need to charge. Now here's where things get a bit tense. The GoPro Quick app, while improved in recent years, still feels like a clunky afterthought compared to Insta360's editing ecosystem. Insta's app gives you buttery smooth reframing, AI tracking, cool transitions, basically. Editing is fun, GoPro's app still kinda feels like homework. If GoPro is serious about making the Max to a proper 360 powerhouse, they absolutely have to improve the software experience. Because all the hardware in the world won't matter if editing the footage feels like you're trying to fold a fitted sheet blindfolded. So here's where we stand. The GoPro Max 2 is officially being teased, and that means a full reveal is likely. Just around the corner, specs, price, release date, we're probably weeks, maybe even days away from knowing everything, and honestly, it's about time. GoPro has a real shot here to shake up the 360 camera space again, but only if they deliver on performance, design, and user experience. What are you most excited to see in the Max 2? Is 8K a must-have for you, or are you more about the battery life and editing features? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I read all of them. And hey, if you love staying ahead of camera tech, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss the full breakdown. When the Maxta drops, in the meantime, check out my video on the DJI Osmo 360 leak, it's heating up too. And you'll want to see how these the giants are squaring off, catch you in the next one.